fish heads, fish heads, roly poly fish heads, fish heads, fish heads, eat them up, yum. Okay, I can either, I'm just dragging these objects to the stage here, and you can see they're appearing here in the library. Um, and or I can go over to File, Import, Import to Stage, and that's where I can bring in the images that I want. And there they go. Okay, so right now I'm going to make a uh, couple of layers. I'm going to make three layers, actually. Okay, so the first layer is going to be called... Actually, I'm going to name that here. Uh, I'm going to call that Sky. And I'm going to Command-X, Cut, click on the sky layer command V and paste and there's my sky and I'm gonna drag that to the back layer next layer I'm going to name road Oops. I'm going to name road and I'm gonna cut that and paste command X oh there's nothing there sorry <laughs> spacing out here okay so the next layer I'm going to call fish head enter and I'm gonna click on my fish head Hang on, I gotta click on the back on the okay, it's selected. Command X. And I'm gonna click on this layer, Command V to paste it. The wheel, I'm going to hit Command X. And this one I'm gonna name wheel. Enter, Command V. Alright, but actually I'm going to do a second wheel. And this one's gonna be small wheel. Enter. And I already copied that wheel, so I'm just gonna hit Command V to paste paste it once again alrighty okay so now we have two wheels and the fish head let me make sure this is lined up with the bottom of my my uh, stage here okay <clears throat> so that's in place actually this is sort of locking which I don't like so let's see um, I gotta find snapping here control where is snap? There we go. Snapping's under view. And I'm going to turn off snap to guides. And I'm going to turn off snap to objects. That way I can get this to line just where I want it. Okay. So this is the back of the stage. And I'm going to lock this layer because that sky I don't want to move anymore. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the fish head. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to put it down here because that's where I want it to go and I'm going to get the first wheel okay that's the small wheel so I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in here by hitting the command and spacebar and clicking so this one I want to shrink the size of this wheel I'm gonna hit the free transform tool hold the shift key to constrain it and make that a nice small wheel there we go okay now I'm gonna zoom out by hitting command option space bar hold the spacebar down to to get the little hand so I can move around quickly okay I'm gonna put that there okay so this little fish is gonna have some big wheels here all right just gonna hit the arrow keys punch those down slowly they're not quite lined up um, so I can just go over here to the align and I'm going to look for the align bottom there we go all right, now they're nice and lined up. Now I'm going to use the arrow keys to inch them up just a little bit. Okay, now we're good to go there. Okay, so that is my rolling fish head. Um, for road, I'm going to click here. I'm going to click on the um, click here to get the rectangle tool. Uh, both my colors are the color I already set it. It's gray, and this is the the stroke, the fill and stroke are the same, so that's okay. So I'm just going to click down here in the bottom, and I'm going to add a little gray for road well that changed I'm gonna hit undo on that I accidentally let go on a to a lighter color okay so now I think my keyboard is actually hitting something okay so I am going down here and I'm gonna create a little gray band I'm gonna lock it that's my road Okay, so what I want to do now, I'm going to click on the selection tool. I'm going to select these objects. And remember, my sky is locked, so I can move it with no problem. So I'm going to put this little guy 
on the road, but he's off of the screen because I want him to drive from from right to left. So it's going to start here. Okay. I'm going to start with the first. I'm going to add some key f some frames. So I can add frames by clicking F5, and or I can just hold it. I'm just going to hold it down. All right, so I'm going to expand this later, but right now it's easier to work keeping this timeline very short. Okay, so I'm going to do the fish head first. So I'm going to click on fish head, this layer. I'm going to right click. You can see it, everything is gray. So I'm going to right click, create motion tween. Oh, okay. It says, do you want to, this item cannot be tweened. You must convert it to a symbol in order. Do you want to convert it to a scene, to a tween? I'm going to, to a, uh, I'm just going to hit cancel there. I forgot to convert the, each of these objects into a symbol. If you make a, use an object in a tween, it needs to be a symbol. So I'm going to right click, go down the very, well, next to the bottom and says convert to symbol. And I'm going to make this a graphic symbol and call this fish head. Now watch the library when I hit OK. Boom. Now you can see it added this symbol. And this little icon means it is a graphic symbol. This icon means it's just, you know, an image from the outside. Um, the wheel since these are oh now I'm gonna delete this wheel because it won't be a symbol so I'm gonna create a go down to the next to the bottom it says convert to symbol and I'm gonna call this wheel and I'm gonna hit enter it's a graphic symbol okay the reason I deleted the first one is because they were ref they were both uh, PNG files now I want to use this symbol I'm gonna click on the small wheel and bring that there so now it's referencing the same the same symbol I don't have it it'll take less memory so I'm gonna scale that down I'm gonna hit the free transform scale that down the size and put it in place let's realign that okay now we're good to go okay so now I'm gonna go back to the fish head and you can see everything is gray I'm gonna right click and it says create motion tween I'm gonna hit let it go and if I click here you can see it's now blue that means a, a motion tween has been created so I'm going to it doesn't move right now but this is the beginning of the timeline and it progresses through to the end so now I've moved it to the end now I'm gonna take this fish head I'm gonna hit the space command option zoom out and I'm going to click on this fish head and then I'm gonna hold the shift key and move it off screen to the other side but I hold, held the shift key so as you can see I'm moving the arrow up and down if I let go of the shift key it moves and it and it won't stay in line but if I hold the shift key down it stays in line so I'm gonna let that go and as you can see this dotted line means I have created a a motion tween okay so from there and you can also see if I move this out of the way right here this is a properties keyframe that means that it is registered a keyframe here so now if I sc use the scrub bar and I scroll across you can see that fish head is moving across the screen okay so now I want to move these objects over to here I want them all to follow the same same in the same place so wheel I'm gonna click on this layer it's gray I'm gonna right click create motion tween and it turns blue now I'm gonna move this all the way over to here to because this is where I want it to end up and I'm going to move that wheel all the way over here back in line with the fish with the fish head and you can see there's this line showing me that this is a is a motion tween okay so now it moves across in unison alright so I'm going to do the same thing with this one I'm going to right click with the small wheel create motion tween and un and until I actually move this over here it's not you know it does nothing but one problem that you can have is if if you have if you don't move the scrub bar to the right place if I you know I'm assuming that I'm there although you can see it's not in the right place because of that I just click off so I don't have to worry about clicking all these things so I'm just gonna click here and then move it and you can see if I hit command return things are out of whack okay that's because this keyframe is in the wrong spot so I'm just going to hit undo, command Z, and try this again. I'm going to move it all the way over to my final keyframe. I'm going to click off so I don't have to worry about accidentally click, clicking on any of these things to distort that. And I'm going to hold the shift key, move it over, and let it go in place. Now everything should be working just fine now. There we go. So now it's moving across the screen. 
and you can scrub through it. Um, but the problem is I'm going to hit command return. You can see what the actual movie looks like. Those wheels aren't turning. So what I need to do is click on the timeline, not the, the actual wheel because you see the properties panel changed when I click on the wheel. But I'm going to click on the timeline that makes the wheel go and you can see rotation and I can click and move it over you know using this little scrubber uh, this I think they're called a scrubby slider and I can scrub through there but it's it's gonna be hard to just get four frames so I'm just gonna click on this one time and hit four enter alright and now I'm gonna click on the small wheel frame click on the zero I mean click on it and hit four and enter and now it should scroll through I'm gonna hit the command spacebar to zoom in and we can scrub through okay but wait a minute that doesn't appear to be rotating yeah it's rotating but for some reason I'm not seeing it here Okay, yeah, it is rotating. I just couldn't see because it's so uniform. But actually, I believe that these are rotating. They're, yeah, they're, they're going backwards. So I need to click on each of these. Okay, I'm going to click on the wheel, and it says that direction, CW, which is clockwise, and I'm going to let it go of that on counterclockwise. I'm going to do the same with the small wheel, counterclockwise. Okay, now that should be good to go. And there we have it. We have our rolling, actually, that's moving a little fast. I'm, you know, it's kind of hard to see. So I'm just going to click, rather, I can click on each of these frames individually and hit F. Whoops. If you, the thing is, I'd selected the whole thing, this whole timeline. And since that entire timeline is selected, if I hit F5, it's going to duplicate all 40 frames. So I'm going to get 40 more frames. What I want to do is I'm going to click here and I'm just going to hang on. I think it's the, the control the command key and I just get one frame at a time so I can from here I can just hit F5 and add one frame at a time but I, I'm a, a faster way to do that I could do that to add each one individually I'm just gonna click out here move my scrubber here and I'm gonna hit F5 and it'll add one frame at a time to each of these I'm gonna each of these okay so I'm gonna move this over here and I'm gonna just hold this till it I need to move over it just take it up to 80 okay and now that adding the space the time to the timeline should slow it down quite a bit there we go so now we have a nice rolling fish goodbye